The devil strains every nerve to secure the souls which belong to Christ. We should not grudge our toil in wresting them from Satan and giving them back to God. Welcome my beautiful brothers and sisters connecting from all over Mother Earth on this has a day as the current is flowing from the portal of the Casa de Dominacio, the house of love, where the medicine is love, into each and every one of our hearts, uniting us across the world. And we have another spectacular day here, white fluffy clouds passing slowly by, reminding us of our transformation and we are just travellers here on earth and all things change and this too will pass and beyond we have the deep blue sky in remembrance of the mantle of our divine mother her love and protection and the birds are serenading us in a divine symphony with majestic flowers everywhere of all colors and fragrances and we have a lot to learn from Mother Nature. Flowers are not in competition with each other. They just bloom. And the birds don't sing for applause. They share their joy with us. So as we are held in this marvelous high vibration of Mother Nature, we dedicate ourselves to this necessary divine work this afternoon. Wherever you are in the world, relax. If you are lying under a crystal bed, this is great. Lying down is superb. If you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current, feet firmly on the ground, don't cross your body in any way and allow this magnificent high vibration to flow fluidly, freely and easily, joining us as one family across the world this beautiful current of love and light and put a glass of water beside you. It is blessed and we drink it at the end of the work to nourish us mind, body and spirit. And as we close our physical eyes and leave the material world behind with all of its stresses, its problems, its difficulties, we open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances. All there is, we are reminded again and again that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around, we're not the body, we're so much more. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. And we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil, these beautiful entities of light and love. 
And today is a day of great celebration and change. And we send our love and our prayers out to our brothers and sisters in the United States of America. We pray for peace, for unity, for love, for forgiveness, for healing, for justice, and also for a smooth transition of power, realizing that God has the ultimate power as we surrender all of our problems, our anxieties, our fears, our pain, our hurt to the God of our lives, who hears our prayers and answers them, usually not in the way we think, but certainly we are protected, well looked after, and are basking in the presence of God every moment. And today we honour a magnificent entity, Saint Sebastian, who was a third century Christian saint and martyr. It is believed that he was born in Gaul, modern day France, to a wealthy Roman family. And he was raised as a Christian in a time when being Christian was very dangerous. In the year 283, Saint Sebastian joined the Roman army. He kept his Christianity a secret so that he would be able to act as a spy in the army. Saint Sebastian was promoted to become a guard in the Praetorian Guard, which was a group of men who served as the emperor's bodyguards. The emperor hated all Christians and ordered many to be tortured and killed. He did not know that Saint Sebastian was a Christian, which allowed for him to lead a do this double life in which he was able to both be a spy in the army and be a faithful follower of Jesus. Saint Sebastian's spying may have resulted in him finding out information that helped to save Christians. He also secretly visited Christians who had been imprisoned for their faith, bringing them supplies and comfort. Saint Sebastian was a man of great faith when such faith had to be hidden. And he was even known to have brought Christianity to fellow members of the Roman armed services. The wife of a soldier Saint Sebastian was in the army with had lost her power of speech and she hoped Saint Sebastian would be able to hear her. He prayed with her and made the sign of the cross over her. And when she was healed, many learned of what had happened and became Christians also. When the authorities found out that Sebastian was a Christian and that he had been converting many soldiers and was performing miracles, he was impeached, tied to a tree and ordered to be killed by archers. Somehow he managed to survive despite the arrows piercing through his body. Since he was able to endure such incredible punishment, he is often invoked as the patron saint of athletes because of his physical endurance and his energetic way of spreading and defending the faith. Sebastian is also a patron to all soldiers and a holy debt. Archers are also known to pray for him in times of need. Saint Sebastian's story is one of courage, dedication and strength. He was a man devoted to God to the very end. It took several attempts on his life before St. Sebastian gained the glorious crown of martyrdom in the year 288 in Rome. Over the centuries, he came to be venerated in the Roman Catholic Church and the Orthodox Church. He is also the patron saint of Rio de Janeiro, as a relic of his was present as protection in the building of Rio in 1586. And he is also believed to save people against the plague. Very much a saint for our time. In the Middle Ages, Saint Sebastian saw a great surge in his popularity due to the belief that he could protect against the plague. The reason for this belief is a link with Greek mythology. Apollo, the god of archery, would sometimes destroy his energy, enemies with arrows that carried a deadly plague. And since Sebastian was tortured by archers but did not die, 
He was believed to have the power to intercede for and protect those who suffered from the plague. This was also linked to scriptural references of God afflicting people and nations with arrows of punishment. He was also said to have freed Rome itself from pestilence in the 7th century. During the 14th century, the bubonic plague, also known as the Black Death, ravaged through Europe, killing an estimated 75 million people. At the time, the people were unaware as to how the disease was transmitted and felt that catching it was a random occurrence. They likened it to being shot with an arrow by the army of nature's archers. In an attempt to seek help from heaven, they prayed to the saint who was associated with archery for protection and relief from this deadly disease. This saint, of course, was Saint Sebastian. And he became known as the, one of the 14 holy helpers because of his associated with being called upon for assistance during the time of the plague. So it is with utter trust and faith and belief in Saint Sebastian on his feast day today that we ask for help with all of this suffering now on earth due to this pandemic and we also ask Saint Sebastian to protect us from poisoned arrows from all of this unrest this turbulence this deep disunity on the planet as today we turn a new page, a new chapter, particularly in the United States, going forward with hope and joy in our hearts, starting afresh, an opportunity to begin again and to build a brotherhood and sisterhood of love, light, peace, unity, protection, forgiveness and gratitude on Mother Earth. Let us pray. The Lord's Prayer, translated from its original Aramaic, the language of Jesus and Mary. Breathing life, your name shines everywhere. Release the space to plant your presence here. Envisage your I can now. Embody your desire in every light and form. Grow to us this moment's bread and wisdom. Untie the knots of errors binding us as we release the strand we hold of others' faults. Help us to not forget our source. Liberate us from not living in this present moment. From you arises every vision, power and song from gathering to gathering. May our future actions grow from here. And so be it. Amen. And we turn now to our Divine Mother, the Mother's heart, the feminine power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace. We ask you in this sacred moment going forward to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity. We are your children. 
as we all go within on the journey of the heart to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the unity, the compassion, the humility, the brotherhood and sisterhood, the love, the forgiveness, deep, deep within us, and it is within all of us. We are divine beings, helping us all incarnate and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation into oneness. One heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Our mother, whose body is the earth, sacred is thy being. Thy gardens grow. Thy will be done in our cities as it is in nature. Thanks be this day for food, air and water. Forgive us our sins against the earth as we are learning to forgive one another and surrender us not into extinction. Rather, deliver us from our folly. For thine is the beauty and the power and all life from birth to death, from beginning to end. And so be it forever. Blessed be. Amen.
We are living in tumultuous times. A time of great change on the planet. And all is in divine order. We're exactly where we're meant to be here now in this moment, in time and space, together, walking each other home. And we have come back to planet Earth to learn these challenging lessons. In this the school of life. And these are hard lessons. And we have so much help available to us from beyond the veil. These beautiful holy beings. And today as we honour Saint Sebastian we ask for his protection. He had a lot of arrows thrown at him and he survived. He was given another chance. And we need to change, to let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us, particularly now, to surrender to the will of God. I used to think that prayer changes things, but now I know prayer changes us and we change things. And all we have is this moment. So we need to be present in each and every moment to learn these lessons. And to seize the opportunities of each and every moment. There's never been a better time for us to grow in love and light together as one family. Learning as we go. We are reminded that there's only one law in the universe that never changes. And that is that all things change and all things are impermanent. God is the only thing that does not change. What is born will die. What has been gathered will be dispersed. What has been accumulated will be exhausted. What has been built up will collapse. And what has been high will be brought low. The only thing we really have is nowness, is now. The past is past. The future not yet risen. And even this present moment, as we experience it, becomes the past. If you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. When you feel the peace of God in your heart, you are living in this present moment. Begin doing what you want to do now. We're not living eternally in these physical bodies. We have an expiration date. We move in and out of perishable bodies. All we have is this present moment, sparkling like a star in our hands and melting like a snowflake. We need to use this present moment before it is
is too late. And as we seize each and every moment in love, forgiveness, unity, peace, joy, humility and gratitude. In happy moments, praise God. In difficult moments, seek God. In painful moments, trust God. In quiet moments, worship God. Every moment, thank God. Amen.
The universe is unfolding exactly as it needs to. And we're all in this together. One family. And there seems to be a lot of confusion and despair. Thinking, why would God punish us like this? We have not been abandoned. There is a bigger picture. God never uses anyone greatly unless he tests them deeply. And God did not tell us it would be easy. He promised us it would be worth it. And we have so much help available to us. And we were born for these times. And we have everything we need and more for this journey of life. And we really need to love each other, love ourselves, forgive each other, forgive ourselves. To let go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. We need to be the change we want to see in the world and embrace all of this change as a liberation to the next step of our involvement into a new earth paradigm of love and light. When sorrow comes, let us accept it simply as a part of life. Let the heart be open to pain. Let it be stretched by it. All the evidence we have says that this is the better way. An open heart never grows bitter. Or if it does, it cannot remain so. In the desolate hour, there is an outcry, a clenching of the hands upon emptiness, a burning pain of bereavement, a weary ache of loss. But anguish, like ecstasy, is not forever. There comes a gentleness, a returning quietness, a restoring stillness. This too is a door to life. Here also is a deepening of meaning and it can lead to dedication, a going forward to the triumph of the soul the conquering of the wilderness. And in the process will come a deepening inward knowledge that in the final reckoning, all is well. And as we learn to embrace each other in brotherhood and sisterhood, going forward, creating a new reality of love, light, peace, unity, joy, a better world, not only for us, but for future generations to come. We rise by lifting others May we learn to open in love so that all the doors and windows of our bodies swing wide on their rusty hinges. May we learn to give ourselves with both hands, to lift each other on our shoulders, 
to carry one another along. May holiness move in us so we pay attention to its small voice and honour its light in each other. Amen.
enjoy this marvelous high vibration of Saint Sebastian. And we ask for protection of any poisoned arrows that are thrown at us. And there sure is a lot of stuff, for want of a better word, flying around that is not from the light. And let us be open to receive this beautiful God light now in this very moment, sustaining us, helping us to endure these trials and tribulations on Mother Earth in these darker days, knowing that all is well going forward. As we relax into our physical bodies now, taking a long, slow, gentle, deep breath into the heart center, the center of our being. Let us breathe in the future. With all of its hope, promise, joy, unity, love, forgiveness, peace, abundance, gratitude, brotherhood and sisterhood, faith. And let us breathe out the past with all of its problems, anxieties, pain, hurt, rage, anger, any grudges or resentments we may be holding. Letting go of anything and everything that no longer serves us. Letting go is growing up into the light, the very essence of our being. We are love and we are light. That is all, all there is. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall. Like a waterfall here at the Casa or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation as we shift dimensions. Letting go of the past. Embracing change. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Birds of paradise generously, happily serenading us in a divine symphony. Carpets of magnificent, colourful, fragrant roses being kissed by hummingbirds and bumblebees and even more butterflies. Brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is a time of true forgiveness, of surrendering anything, everything that's blocking us, stopping us from stepping into the light, from becoming more. This is why we're back on earth. God is testing us. You're passing these tests with flying colors. Just let go. Trust, have faith and believe in the supreme power. And let's bring anyone who is particularly struggling, and there's so many, our brothers and sisters who are suicidal, depressed, feeling abandoned, isolated, unloved, unwanted, desolate, desperate, the homeless, the children of the world. They're innocent, they don't need to suffer. Any of our brothers and sisters who are at the mercy of inclement weather, climate change, Earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, drought, famine. God is merciful and will hear our prayers. And our brothers and sisters who are languishing in migrant camps. They need to be liberated now. We're all children of God, no exceptions. And let's bring medium trauma to this high vibration. And anyone who has struggled or is suffering on account of the problems of the casa. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light, extending this beautiful cleansing healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed, whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this glorious high vibration from on high, pouring into our open hearts, 
Let's share our bounty with the world. There's more than enough love and light to go around. Bringing this high vibration now into all hospitals. Helping our angel doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals, patients, and anyone who's in a caring capacity now on Mother Earth. Gushing forth into all nursing homes, helping our elders. Into prisons, orphanages, asylums. Anywhere, everywhere on Mother Earth where our brothers and sisters are suffering in pain or are hungry. forth into all war zones anywhere there's riots unrest disharmony fighting conflict bringing peace in our lifetime not only for us but for our children and their children and their children and on and on saint reed is always with us to god all things are possible right here right now this unstoppable high vibration penetrating the consciousness of our government leaders and anyone who is in a position of authority over another human being, helping them to wake up to our divine essence, that there are consequences to our actions. To make good decisions about our future and the future of this tiny little planet we call home for now. And we send out special prayers today to the United States. We pray as there is a new president sworn in, Joe Biden. May he follow his heart and embrace peace, love, forgiveness and healing and unity and justice for all people. And we pray also for our brother Donald Trump. For his tenure in office and also we're all in this together, brothers and sisters. We need to love each other, to forgive each other, to embrace each other. We're all part of the same shining web, the God consciousness, all there is, sacred trinity of innumerable names. Right here, right now, this pristine, crystal clear energy. Gushing forth into all ecosystems right across the globe, regenerating, renewing, refreshing, nourishing. Mother Earth already bouncing back. Hallelujah, praise God. God is great. Miracles abound. majestic high vibration of love and light enveloping Gaia growing expanding multiplying cleansing and healing all beings incarnate and disincarnate all creatures great and small as it gushes forth into infinity May all beings, with and without bodies, all of God's creatures in all universes, be healthy, happy, joyful, unified, for 
forgiving. Faithful, hopeful, believe in a better world. Come together in brotherhood and sisterhood. Realize we're all children of God and we're all in this together. United we stand. And may all beings be at peace and harmony and tranquility with this beautiful, ever-growing current of love and light. Amen. this majestic high vibration we're all receiving now from on high into our open hearts. We are in total gratitude to God Almighty for another opportunity for us all to come together, this wonderful collective consciousness, one family under the banner of the Casa de Dominancia, the house of love, where the medicine is love. As we go forward, onwards, upwards, learning to live by faith and not by sight, knowing there is a bigger picture. And all things change and all things are impermanent. And this too will pass. We are moving into a bright new future. Together, 
one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. And thank you, God, for sending all of your messages of love, infinite phalanges, ascended masters, angels, archangels, guardian angels, elevated spirits, unseen beings, these phenomenal entities of light and love, so many available to us 24 seven. All we need to do is to reach out and ask with a contrite heart and we will receive everything we need and more for this difficult journey now. And thank you today for our brother, St. Sebastian. For his courage, dedication and strength to work with the Christ Consciousness which is all about love, forgiveness, peace, harmony, brotherhood and sisterhood. Reminding us that fate moves mountains. And thank you always for the presence of our brother Jesus, Prince of Peace, and our Divine Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to wake up to our divine essence, and that life is short, and we need to seize the opportunities of each and every moment as we work from moment to moment to moment. As we learn these challenging lessons and when our earthly life is over we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields with all of these holy beings where there's no more pain and no more suffering how great is that and to you my beautiful brave courageous brothers and sisters pilgrims on the path for time and time again coming together and faith, hope, love, forgiveness for your dedication, your commitment, your courage, your love, your patience <laughs> and your light to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God, love and service. As we embrace a new leaf, turning the page on the old. Painful endings are bright new beginnings. We have nothing to fear. In each and every moment, we choose love. Your faith is healing you your family and friends, your extended family, all of those around you and Mother Earth and your love and your light beaming out from your open hearts is changing the world forever for the better. We are the change we need to see in the world. We are the light workers. Take courage, take heart. We are not alone, we have so much help available to us. God is with us every step of this journey. Stay elevated. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Let us pray. In total trust, belief, with open hearts. Without ceasing, joyfully, happily. perplexed, be not afraid, everything passes, God does not change, patience wins all things, those who have God lack nothing. God 
alone suffices. Amen. Love, loving, love. Namaste.